It seems everyone in the area has a story. He was a chatterbox. He was he, he had no problem sitting down talking to you for a long time. In the ring, marvelous Marvin Hagler was a ferocious fighter. But in New Hampshire, the boxing legend was a humble and gracious man. I just remember he was always a super happy guy, and it was always great to see him. Hagler died Saturday. He was 66. His wife writing on his Facebook fan club page, he passed away unexpectedly at their Bartlett home. Whenever he was in town, Vintage Baking Company says he would stop by for bread. He would always request his baguette to be cut in half so it would be easier to carry. Right next door, his picture hangs at the Red Parka Pub, where he began visiting in the 80s. Staff say he was just there on Tuesday. He just always made you feel good when he came in. He'd, he'd talk, he'd ask about how we were doing, how the kids and grandkids and just made everybody feel special. The Hall of Fame boxer was the undisputed middleweight champion from 1980 until a 1987 loss to Sugar Ray Leonard. Hagler was a must-watch athlete. I think he appreciated people remembering him, all that. I always called him champ wherever I, whenever I saw him, but, um, but he was just very low-key and... Um, great with the local people. Years ago, former New Hampshire Speaker of the House Gene Chandler says he sold the Bartlett home to Hagler. He didn't ask for attention and he didn't he didn't get it, unwanted attention, and I think he, he liked the, the quietness. He got enough attention when he went other places. Hagler started his career in Brockton, Massachusetts. He defended his title 12 times in the 80s. And after boxing, he even acted in some Italian films.